Hey, good morning everyone. Elle Ross here. So, oh, I take this off, I can't see. But, um, anywho, I'm here this morning because a couple of my clients canceled and I wanted to go over a brief tutorial of the importance of stretching. What to stretch before a workout and to stretch slash foam roll after a workout. And hello everyone for joining. Happy Wednesday, Wellness Wednesday. And I'll go ahead and get started. So, um, I want to give a huge shout out real quickly to Amber Gopert. Gopert. I hope I'm saying her name right. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. But she's been like my mentor and coach since I started at the training room. And she is the one who introduced me to this particular stretch, which really stretches out your hamstrings and just your legs overall, especially if you're going to do a leg day. Um, I myself would stretch before working out, but never properly. And since injuring my back, this stretch has been phenomenal. Stretching out the hamstrings is really going to help strengthen the back. Um, some of back, a lot of back injuries actually come from tight hamstrings. So it's really important to really make sure you stretch out those hips and stretch out those hams. So again, um, all you need really is a resistance band, a longer one, preferably bigger in strength. This one um, is actually a pretty strong, sturdy one, but I'll go ahead and show you the stretch. So. You're gonna go ahead and put it behind your back. Uh, so, and if you, you actually don't have to. Sometimes I just wrap it around my foot. But you put it around your foot as so. Then you're going to lean back. Oh, sorry, I kind of felt that in my back. Um, and really stretch out the hamstring. Stretch about as far as you can. And if you're a yogi, you could probably go way further than this. Goals are to be able to go further than this with my yoga practice, but I just started, so I have a long way to go. So anyhow, go ahead and hold it. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. So good, so good, so good. And I literally have been doing this every single morning, and it's really been helping my back. It's really been loosening, again, the hamstrings, and um, it just makes walking feel so much better. But go ahead, you'll hold it for about 10 seconds, as far as you can, and then you're going to kick it down and up for 10. And that's also going to really help stretch out the back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then usually they'll add this leg for ten, which also we're going to get to this leg. So go ahead and think we're at five, four, three, two, and one. Then you're going to slightly bring it across. This is going to get your IT band. And if you, if you rotate your angle slightly, you'll really feel that stretch. It's very common to get IT injuries um, from exercise. So this is also, if you have tight IT and I, a tight IT band, this is a phenomenal stretch. And then go ahead and just take it all the way down as far as you can go and feel that stretch. Oh God. Sometimes stretching just feels way too good. Because <laughs> it feels really good right now, especially here and on my back. Then bring it up and out to the side. Try to stretch out inside your thighs as far as you can. Bring it up and then we'll go ahead and switch legs. Hello everyone for joining. If you don't have a band at home, these are really simple. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, this one I actually got at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of them. And it wasn't that expensive, but it's a really good tool to have. Okay, stretch it out, stretch it out. Feel that, feel that, feel that. Deep breath in. And out, oh God, yes, 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 yes. Now we're gonna take it down for 10. 10, and one. Again, just go ahead and hold it as far as you can. And release. Then we're gonna stretch out that IT. Slight angle of the ankle. And you should feel it all right here. There you go. And a lot of you on right now, you might not be able to do this exercise, but if you um, tap the replay, I'll also post it on my YouTube page, this full video of how to stretch this out so you can do it later. And if you have any questions, Feel free to DM me and I'll get back to you. 
and go ahead take it all the way down as far as you can and again feel that stretch right here deep breath in and out then take it all the way over stretch it out stretch it out stretch it out and back up and we forgot to do this one so go ahead nine eight seven six five four three two and one and then I like to actually add this in so you have straighten it come up and then come back and then for me to help like really like stretch out my back I like to go ahead and pull my body as far as I can down this is also going to stretch out the hamstrings so as far as you can as far as you and really feel that stretch. I could feel it through the hamstrings. I can also feel through the glutes and in my back. Take a deep breath in. Nice and release it. So you can feel free to do more of those if you're really tight, but that's a quick little band workout. And then this, oh my God, a lifesaver, um, especially for really your total whole body. So just so, show you how to foam roll out. You can literally just put it wherever you feel tight and sometimes you won't even feel the tightness right as of yet, but as soon as you go ahead and put pressure down, you're going to feel it. And sometimes people are tighter than others. I like to also really get inside the hips. Hello everyone. And um, I can't really read the comments right now because I'm so far away, but I will get back to you. And stretch it out. I like to do this for probably about five to ten minutes. I'm not going to go that long right now. I'm just going to show you. Put pressure on the leg and then go all the way around, especially on the IT. The IT band right here. And it like, sometimes it will hurt more than other times, but it hurts so good. So, so good. Really good for a post-workout. Sometimes before, but definitely after. And let me come to the side so you can see better. This is underneath the hamstring. You can also get to the calf as well and on the side. And then we'll switch to the other side. There you go. Ideally, do like 10, 10, and 10. Okay. IT band. And then back to the front right here oh <laughs> thank you <laughs> I will in a second <sighs> there you go feel that stretch and inside inside the hips there you go and then sometimes you can go ahead and sit back right here also get the glute area, which feels really good. And then you can get the arms as well. So with your arms, you can come like right under. I tend to get sore right here from pull-ups and upper body work. So I'll come and roll out like this and you can really feel it. It's really good for those lats and the back. There you go. And then you can also do the other side. Come back like this. Well, around the back, not the other side yet. But then you can also get like the top of the arm. Right here. Shoulders and thighs. And then we'll go ahead and do the other side. Same thing. feels you feel like discomfort but it's a good discomfort it's really stretching it out and then the side of the arm so ideally I would do this longer but just for the sake of the live I don't want to go too long but as you saw that's just a little mini brief tutorial of using 
a foam roller, this, you can get on Amazon or any sporting goods store. Same with the band. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy this brief tutorial. If you have any questions or would like different tutorials on anything regard to, regarding to fitness or even just nutrition and health, feel free to DM me, let me know, and I will make sure to get back to you and try to get that up within 48 hours of your request. So I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take the time for yourself. Know that resistance training is key in regards to toning up, burning that extra fat, and you're not going to get bulky, okay? Trust me, ladies, you won't get bulky. Um, you'll get lean and tight and toned, and you'll feel great, and you'll have better energy. Um, but just like in the gym, resistance training in regards to breaking down the muscle and building back up, this is really key, and it really correlates to the mind. So you'll get stronger mentally, you'll have more confidence, as I was saying, but then you'll have more energy to do various things that whatever it is that you love or you're passionate about, uh, I mean, really, fitness can truly transform your life as it did mine, but that's for another life. So anyways, we'll talk soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.